Hello everybody, I am back. Sorry about the video quality in this one. Uh, I'm still trying to work around the video compression to maximize the quality of the output. So, uh, well, anyways, I've got a doozy of an adventure with you today. Well, the first thing I'm doing here is swapping the weapons of Laura and Ongui around. I mean, Laura is actually pretty bad with daggers, so I'm letting her hold the uh, buckler here so she has a little bit of an evasion. And I'll let Hong Kong really hold on to the Fang Knife because he does better damage with it. And actually, Laura is pretty bad with daggers considering her skill growth, but I'll go into all that later on. And here we are on our first adventure. Welcome to the adventure screen. I'm just gonna check the status for a bit. Here we go, this is the skill and art screen. You can see that Laura has a couple of the fire spells learned already. Power surge is pretty good, fire arrows is pretty good. Ongi doesn't have anything learned. Spall brat. And here I'll show you the status screen. And this is where the game gets really innovative. Because you see that set of seven panels, uh, the, most of it's empty at the moment because we're still at the beginning of the adventure. But basically, at the end of each quest, you get uh, a set of random panels. You get to choose one and place them onto your panel set of panels. And each character has different stat growth and elemental growth. And each of the panels you get have different st effect the stat growth and elemental growth in different ways. But first, we see the amazingness that is the adventure screen. Check out the amazing chess piece D&D style movement. Hey, check it out, it's our first monster. It's not attacking us. So let's just head in and get him on the head. There we go. Battle. Step back, little man! I shall join you. God, I hate Omni's voice. Well, here we are at our first battle. You get five actions, and you choose any number of actions from any set of characters. We're gonna have Laura do a couple of punches, and Omni do a couple of thrusts with his knife. Then you get a choice of whether to attack normally or combo into each other's moves, which increase the damage, but you also increase the risk of your opponent jumping into your combo just like that. So, well, here's first victory, hooray! Now I'm just trading back the Blade of Escada onto Omri. I mean, Laura doesn't use it, and it'll save a bit on durability. See what I did there? By just selecting the space, I explore it, and a random treasure chest pops up. And usually it's quite a bad idea to just go ahead and open it. You gotta defuse the traps first. Oh, wait, there's a monster, so we gotta stop here, otherwise it'll attack us. I'll just have Kong use a bit of diplomacy, and he should go away. There we go. Well, I failed at defusing the traps, so I'm just gonna sit a bit and recover my HP. Which a lot of people don't know how to do, actually. It's the L3 button. Just press down on the analog stick. Oops, looks like the traps are all been activated, so I'll just unlock it using the blocksmith skill. And you see that the game uses reels to determine a lot of its aspects, so, you know, it's gonna take me a couple of tries. If you get a circle, if you circle, that's okay. X means it's not okay, and bomb means you mess things up pretty bad. Cha ching! So I'll walk back in this direction because I know for a fact that there's a trap on the other side. And continue downwards in this direction. You see the yellow bit of yellow? It means that there's a monster on that path. And oh, there is a treasure chest. Oh no, you have to fight a wildling first. 
and you see that not a lot of battles you get a choice of whether to initiate it or not. Anyways, as a rule of thumb, you usually want to attack normally for the first couple of hits, then try to combo for the last couple of hits, so you get a really good amount of damage. But there are variations, you know, for instance, uh, using magic first, but I'll go into that later. You know, Another aspect people get confused about is the um, HP and LP thing because they don't realize that it's the LP you have to defeat for you to lose consciousness and you know game over but HP is treated more like uh, you know stamina where you use the cast spells as well as buffer some damage against enemies and it's the only thing that actually ever grows as a uh, stat in this game. Well, I'm getting some pretty good items on this quest. Well, if you're doing a lot of outdoor quests, you will happen to buy a lot of very common map types. And, you know, usually if you do quests like Ventus' quest a lot, and a lot of his carrier missions, you'll know there's a couple of hot spots where treasures just are more likely to pop up. And these two that have just shown up are actually one of the hot spots as well. And if you see me checking out these random spots a couple of times, it means there's a hot spot, so I'm going to use that. First boss battle. Notice that there are two bandits in the adventure screen and only one pops up. Weird, isn't it? Anyways, um, duckies. Duckies are pushovers in this game. Over here I'll show you another strategy that um, most people know about that is magic is actually very, very slow, so if you cast it as a first thing in the battle, you end up letting your enemy attack you all first, so it's actually a bad example of how to use it because I'm being comboed against a lot. Oh, that was painful for Laura. Anyways, this, this should take me a clear path to combo. Oh, maybe not. The thing about duckies though, is that they're really fast, so they end up interrupting your combos even though it's almost at the end of the turn. And, oh, with this attack, I hopefully should clear off all the duckies in one turn. Which is always a good thing. As you can see, their LPs have been reduced by a little bit. They run over HP, so they take more damage. Submit a little bit more damage, but, you know, they don't actually need HP to use spells or to use attacks, so... Here we go. A little bit of comboing. It's totally random whether uh, you get damage to your LP. You know, sometimes you get lucky and you go to the team where you have zero HP, you don't get any LP damage, and other times you get lucky and you don't get hit at all. The attack misses. Oh, I hate it when it comes to this game. Sometimes when you thro get thrown into battle, another battle happens afterwards right away, and they get tired to heal up or rest, so. This is pretty bad since none of them have any HP. Even worse, you don't even have an option to run away. You're forced to fight this battle. And demon, I need to check out this battle. It's horrifying. It could have been a lot worse. Anyways, um, we'll see you soon on the continuation of this clip, uh, which will be up in a moment.